Well, you know, what I just briefly talked to them. I don't talk to them a lot after after games. I talk to them more tomorrow after I watch the tape a couple times. But uh, you know, when you play poorly and win, that's a good sign. Uh, they're very similar to us. They're a young team that's trying to find their way. They got a couple guys injured, some of their veterans. And uh, at the end of the day, they're going to be a much different team in February when they get everybody back than they are right now. I've got great respect for Jimmy Barron. I've known him my whole life, and uh, he does a great job. So uh, coaching against him is, is a great challenge because he's a very good coach. I, I'm thrilled for, especially for Alberto. As a senior who was stuck in there through good times and bad times and, and uh, tolerated everything, when he took that last shot in the corner, I was like, God, if anyone deserves to make this, it's this kid as a senior and, and a guy who's been through a two-win season, a three-win season, a seven-win season last year. And he's never wavered. And we've had our moments because I push him hard. I recruited his father. His father played really hard. Sean. And uh, he'd be very proud of him tonight, the job he did. So I was thrilled about that. We didn't rebound the ball well. We, we got beat up on the backboards. We didn't re reach a lot of our game goals, but we found a way to win. And the guy to my right here, Brandon Frazier, is just getting better and better. And that's part of that reason is because of the guy to my left and how good a teacher he's been and how patient he's been, even though his role has changed and he's not a starter anymore. Although he might be on Saturday after playing like this. But the thing is, no matter what his role is, Alberto comes to work and he takes care of business every day. And, and that's the kind of leadership we need. You know, we need him and Curve in Bristol. And then obviously Chris Gaston with a bonehead play and we'll see how that whole thing plays out. But, you know, to go and win this game without Chris, with Chris only playing 13 minutes, uh, it, it, I think it shows a lot of spirit. Um, I don't know. Um, I just came prepared today. I came in an hour early to get treatments. Um, I've been getting a lot of treatment on my knees and just came focused. Um, as the game went on and we seen when Chris went out, I just kept talking to the team, making sure they stayed focused and kept playing hard. Alberto, you only had two baskets in the second half after a hot first half, but both were huge buckets. Can you talk about the last one? Um, like I said before, I just try to stay focused. Um, as I seen Brandon um, drive to the basket, I just faded to the, um, the corner, mm -hmm. just made sure when I got the ball to bend and extend and knock down the three. Alberto, this has been such a roller coaster ride of a season for you, much less a career. What does this shot mean to you? What does a big game winning shot like that mean? Um, it helped build my confidence a lot. Um, like Coach said, I just just have to just keep sure to stay a leader towards the team and just stay focused and just keep playing hard. Brandon, what was it like out there being the guy without uh, Chris for most of the game? Uh, I mean, it was challenging, um, losing out. Leading scorer and uh, best rebounder, um, I felt like it was a challenge that the team would have to take on. And um, I felt like we, take, we took accountable of it today um, by winning this close game, and it was a tough one. I think it was a big win for us. And um, I, I don't know if it will be a difference with Chris in, but I'm pretty sure it will be some of the difference, things like that. But it was a big loss for us. You know, the expression I've been using lately with them is it's not who we play, it's how we play. Like, it's about us, it's about. And, and I think this game will go a long way in them believing. You know, we had an opportunity to win up at UMass and we kind of gave it away. And, you know, they're not, Fred, they're not young anymore. They've played so many minutes. They've played minute, a lot more minutes than most freshmen do in an entire season at this point. So our freshman, you know, Brian Smith, he, so he shoots one for nine tonight. So what? You know, shooters shoot it up and they sleep in the street, man. You just, I keep telling them, pick your head up and you'll make your next shot. And that's the way he's got to think. And the same thing with Brandon. He's, you know, he's become more of a combo and, and plays some great minutes for us at the point. It gives us more firepower, having him and Alberto and uh, and Brian Smith on the floor together. And that's what we needed late because we were struggling to score some points. Could you talk more about the Gaston play, like what the refs told you? Initially, they called the technical on Chris. Then I told him to go to the, one of my assistants told me that Chris had gotten hit in the face. So I told him to go to the tape. They went to the tape. Apparently, they said that he was smacked in the face with like a backhand, but then he swung at the guy with a closed fist. So if it's a closed fist, it's an automatic technical flagrant two. 
and then I believe the tape's going to the league, and the league will look at it, and they'll dictate whether or not he can play Saturday. Uh, as you know, and I said to him, you're a junior. You don't do it right away. You know, they always catch the second one, you know. So he's got to have more savvy than that. He's got to understand how important he is to us. And, you know, with greatness comes responsibility, so you can't lose your composure. He was frustrated because he wasn't playing well, and, and, uh, and, he, and he lost his cool for a split second, and it almost, you know, hurt his team. Did you talk about Dominique getting Chris Manson? Yeah, I did. Think Marv did a great job. You know, we're trying to get Marvin back to playing with the energy. Last year, he was the toughest guy on the block. You know, he just played with great energy. He was always around the rim, rebounding the ball, defending, doing everything he needs to do. And this year, he's kind of tried, I don't know, for whatever reason, he's evolved into like a half a finesse player. And every day I'm on him, but that's not his world. His world is just flying around the gym, throwing his body around. He's a big-time athlete. And I really thought he competed, especially in the second half. And, you know, he ended up with uh, eight rebounds in 28 minutes, so you know I was pleased with that. And he's our best free throw shooter. You know, he's a 90% free throw shooter. We we're trying to get him the ball on that four across baseline OB, and then once again, you know, freshman catches it and steps out of bounds. You know, all you got to do there is catch it and hold it. You don't need to go anywhere. Let the clock run. But uh, we we figured out a way to do it. How can you talk about your team's uh, struggles? What do you have to do uh, defensively to rebound the ball without Chris in the game? Well, we, you know, it's rebounding and defense are 80 percent, you know, toughness and guts and technique about 20 percent. So you got to want to go get the basketball. I mean, it's the first thing I looked at. You know, I mean, Brandon Frazier, 36 minutes, three rebounds. That's unacceptable. Devon McMillan, one rebound, 22 minutes. Brian Smith, three. I've always coached guards to fill up box scores. I recruited these guys to fill up box scores. Everything but turnovers. <laughs> okay. And I want them. I expect them to go get five, six rebounds every night. I expect them to have assists. You know, I expect him to do all of those good things, and we've got to get better at it. And we're going to show him tape tomorrow, them turning and looking at the rim, and guys flying by him. I mean, especially in the first half, and one of our keys was to keep them off the back. Because they were tremendous. They're the number one offensive rebounding team in the conference. Good. Thank you all very much. We appreciate it.